weekend. Going riding in the country with my family. Oh, have you got a pony? No, I haven't got a pony. I've got a horse, actually. How big is it? You don't say how big is it when you're talking about horses. You say, how many hands is it, please? How many hands is it, please? It's 16 hands. Thank you for asking. Uh, well, don't you want to know what I'm doing this weekend? No. Uh, well, what are you doing this weekend? I'm going to the doctor. You're going to the what? The doctor! Oh, don't shout, Janet, the first time madness, you know. Well, what are you going to the doctor for? Have you got a fungus or a thresh or what? I haven't got fungus. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? Because if you did, I could cure it. All you do is just get some raw lemon rind, some deep, you just, you just rub it on, that's all. Well, what are you going to the doctor for then? Well, I'm not supposed to say. I'm going for a contraception. Ooh. Do you know about the pill? Yes. What is it then? Do you know about contraception or not? Not. Right. The first most important thing about contraception is to choose the right contraceptive utensil. Like for instance, I personally would not use the pill. Why? Well, because all it does is block your fallopian tubes and make your bosoms five times as large, which in your case is unnecessary and careless, frankly. Well, I might not go on the pill, then I might go on something else. Well, like what? Like what? They're all just as bad. You know what the doctor will do when you tell them you don't want the pill? What? He'll put a UFL inside of you. Do you know what one of those is or not? Not. Right. Other name? Quail. Do you know what Slinky looks like? Yeah. It's like a giant slinky with barbed wire on it, and they coil it all up and they put it inside your bladder where it hooks on and stops babies. Of course, you could get out of hand going up and down the stairs, that's all. Well, it just stays up there. It doesn't get all rusty. Well, no, well, it's got a rope on it, hasn't it, to pull it out. Only you're not allowed to pull it out. Only a licensed medical practitioner can pull it out. Not a social worker and not a meals on wheels baby, right? Right. Well, is that all there is? Isn't there anything else I can use? No, there are loads of options, like A, the sponge. Well, like a little makeup sponge? No. Or like a kitchen sponge with scouring, or what? I think you might regret scouring. Well, like a car sponge? Yeah! You could car sponge, like a oh. big car sponge, I mean. Smush it all up and they dip it in spermicologicalizer, single clean, and they shove it up your front bottom where it expands to its full capacity and prevents flagellation. Or B, there's a diagram. That was on the neck of your cervix. You know what that is, don't you? It's right here. Here, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And was your womb where you examined? It's right here. Here, yeah. yeah. So yeah. what's that going to be then? None. See? Jelly. There's jelly. What, what? Any jelly. Well, avoid citrus fruits. But all you do is you just put it in the refrigerator and when it settles you take it out and you apply it liberally to your waterworks and there you go. Or D, there's the common condom, of course. Condom. 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 C-O-M-D-O-M. Condom. How are you going to have safe sex if you can't even spell it properly? This is a sheath of rubber which is fully absorbent so as to allow the human organism to be exploded within it and not within you. This is very good because A, it is convenient, B, it is safe sex, and C, and D. Oh, there's your boss. Yeah. Jen, remember, right? What? Don't die of ignorance, okay?